Hey guys, so it is no secret that I am loving the new e.l.f. Finest Fleck Glitter Eyeshadows, and today we are doing a look with Pop Off Pink, which looks like that. Now this, to me, is the most gorgeous shade of pink. It's like a mauve type pink, so I'm really looking forward to using that because I have not tried that one yet. I've gotten so many new eyeshadows lately and um, having a blast using them. By the way, all the products that I have applied so far uh, will be in the description box as always because I don't like to do a full face because people have a very short attention span so I don't want people clicking off. So we've already done uh, face products and eyebrows and we're just going to start with the eyes. So I'm going to use my MAC Painterly Paint Pot to prime my eyes today because the pink is a very like um, mellow color, so I don't want anything for a base that's going to overwhelm the pink. So this is just a Sephora concealer brush. So I'm just going to pop some of that on my eyes. Now why am I using this as my base? Because when you use a glitter eyeshadow, it's a good idea to use something creamy like this because it's going to give it something to cling to. And that way you'll end up with very little, if any, fallout on your face. Sometimes people will use concealer or foundation as an eyeshadow primer, which is fine normally. But in this case, you want to use a generous helping of something like this. And if you don't have a MAC paint pot, um, there are some drugstore versions of MAC paint pot. Um, Revlon makes a real good one, Maybelline makes a good one, so they're out there. And you know, whatever you are using. Okay, now the next shadow I'm gonna use is a discontinued MAC eyeshadow. Don't click off, <laughs> I think I have a dupe for you. Um, this is MAC Finjin, I love this shade. It's a matte Move. Now, I bought this at the Cosmetic Company store, which is a store that sells uh, mostly discontinued items by Mac, Estee Lauder, Bobbi Brown, Tom Ford. Um, I've talked about it many, many times on my channel. They are usually at outlet malls. So the dupe that I, I think it's a dupe, I have not actually tested it, but I plan on it. Um, Elf has an eyeshadow palette called Rose, Rose something or other. Can't remember the full name of it off the top of my head. Rose Water, I think, something like that. The second shade in that palette, I think, would be a dupe for this. Um, I used to have that palette. I don't. I had to throw it out because it was old. Um, but I think I'm going to repurchase that when I get a chance because I do really like that palette and it's got some it's a nice combination of those elf bite size eyeshadow palettes are such such a steal i think they're what five dollars or or is it three it's three or five it's it's not a lot for a whole palette but yeah there's four beautiful colors in that and i think the second one would be a dupe for this so once i actually have the palette um I'm going to swatch them side by side and see. And this is just an e.l.f. Um, contour brush. So I'm going to start with this. And I'm going to put this in the outer corner of my eye. And then take it in a little bit and I'm going to put it a little bit in the outer part of my eyelid as well 
By the way, these new ELF eyeshadows are not just on the ELF website, they are now on the Target website. And I'm hoping that that means that they're going to be coming to Target stores. And the reason why I say that is there was one shade I could not get. And um, if they come to Target stores, then I might be able to get that shade because it's out of stock on Elf's website and I think it's out of stock on Target's website too. No, no, it, it came back on, that's right. And I was thinking about ordering it from Target, but I don't I don't know if I've ever gotten a Target delivery before, so I'm not sure what their shipping situation is. Oh, no, I know what it is. You have to order like a pretty high amount of products from Target um, or they won't ship to you. That's what it is. That's what stopped me from placing that order. Okay, so I'm just kind of packing this on the crease. I would say a little more than halfway on the crease and blend, trying to blend it on the outside part of my eye here. There's that one little spot in the corner when I prime. I never remember to put quite enough eyeshadow primer or in this case cream eyeshadow in that one spot so then when I do the eyeshadow it doesn't want to adhere too well so I have to just keep going over it okay so yeah I'm gonna need to go up a little bit more for this to actually show it's plenty pigmented enough it's just it's pink essentially so um, I have a lot of pink in my skin, so it kind of blends in. All right. Um, that should be enough. So let's put that aside for now. We're just going to do one eye at a time. Now we're going to go into the e.l.f. pop-off pink shadow. Now, I find that with these really glittery eyeshadows, by the way, just in case you didn't see any of my previous videos about these, it's a smooth glitter. It isn't chunky. And that's good because I do not like chunky glitter eyeshadows. That's what it looks like. Swatch. See what I mean about it being like a mellow color? It's very, very light. So now I'm just going to put this on the lid really, really into these subtle eye looks lately. I've even stopped putting color underneath my eye because then it looks kind of harsh with um, when you don't have a lot going on on your lid. I, yeah, I like these really delicate looks. I think I just think they're so pretty, especially for somebody that has like fair skin. Sometimes the darker colors can just overwhelm you and you look, dare I say, clownish when you start using dark colors. Not going to do away with dark colors altogether, though. The one shade that I can't get from this line is the darkest one of all, but and I'm just dying to try it. Okay, next what I'm going to do is I'm going to curl my lashes with my Wet n Wild eyelash curler and you know give it a good squeeze try and be patient I know this is like the most boring thing in the world is to curl your lashes but if you don't do it long enough it's not going to do anything and the LA Colors Wickedly Glam Mascara from that uh, Halloween collection that they released at Walmart is actually pretty good It's on an end cap at Walmart, and 
Last time I was there, there was even a few pieces left. It did go pretty fast, though, because, I mean, LA Colors is such an affordable brand. And that was a great collection. I'm so I bought I'm so glad that I bought as much from it as I did because I ended up really liking it. What's nice about the brush on this mascara is it's very small and you can really get in there and do all the lashes that you can see. Okay, I'm um, gonna shut the camera off and do the other eye and come back and we're gonna do the lips. Okay, so this is a very soft and mellow I look and I am here for it okay now on my lips I'm going to use something from the Lottie London Halloween collection that is at CVS right now and it's one of the glitter switch transformative liquid lipsticks and this one is called wanted there are two shades of this I bought the other shade and then went back and got this one. The other one is, uh, I think it was a red. But these are really, really pretty. And it's a liquid lipstick. So what you do is you apply it and then don't put your lips together. Wait like 30 seconds. And then blot your lips together and glitter appears. I'm so glad I went back and got this color because I love it. This is just the most beautiful shade of pink. So I'm just going to let this dry a little bit. See if we can speed up the process. Okay, that, that should be good enough. And now I'm going to blot my lips and watch what happens. Can you see the, the shimmer and glitter? When the light catches it a certain way. There you go. Now you can probably really see it. So that is my e.l.f. pop-off pink um, tutorial, I guess you would say. And uh, thank you so much for watching. And you know what to do. It helps my channel when you do. And uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.